Jen here, welcome back to my channel. This week I wanted to do a get it all done video because let's face it, with Christmas right around the corner, I think all of our to-do lists are just a little bit longer than usual. So grab your to-do list or your cup of tea and come get it all done with me. All right, so I'm starting off this video with closing out my homeschool space. Now that we are on Christmas break, I just want to feel fully disconnected from the mental load of homeschool. So I'm gonna just go through all their stuff, um, do some decluttering, and really just kind of reset my mind. So we are gonna move into the upper cabinet. The first two shelves are my homeschool stuff and the top shelf is miscellaneous. There's some candles, choking hazards, um, extra pieces to games that I found on the floor, just like all that miscellaneous stuff. So we're gonna go through that as well. Now that I've gotten everything out of these folder bins I have for them, I'm gonna go through the notebooks and reset them for January. And then I'm gonna go through their pencil boxes and get a basket for any more decluttering that we need to do. I once felt I'm done with the defense, throw back. Climb over your fence, hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you were shrugging your shoulders, some close stuff. That's what I told you. Soon enough, everything started to change. Cause there's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. Not living in the past. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights Now I'm gonna pull everything off the second shelf and go ahead and wipe that down. I am gonna go through this stuff, but I don't imagine there's gonna be a lot of decluttering. That's pretty much just essentials on that shelf. Remember the colors, they were wrong. It was way more than a dream. We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside. It's all right, we stood there all wide eyed. You and I floating on air in my mind. There's no going back to your own life your own Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the my one-year-old thoroughly enjoyed bringing me all of my blooms from my rose bushes outside all summer long. So me and my daughter decided we were gonna save them by using my wildflower press here. And it ended up being a really fun summer activity. Fun fact, I have had that wildflower press since I was 13 years old. So there's a lot of stuff I don't keep around, but the things that matter, I keep. Now I'm gonna repeat the process on this top shelf. I pulled everything down. I'm going to wipe it out and then I will declutter and see what we can get rid of. Alright, 
All right, I'm gonna isolate a few wires here that I think I can get rid of, which I feel good about. And then I have these tiny little teacups. They came with like a Moana doll. Uh, my kids get so attached to these tiny things, but we really can't keep them around with the babies. So I put them up on this little shelf and I try to be a nice mom and bring little tiny table toys out as often as possible during nap time and stuff like that. So I feel good about leaving this space till January now. I'm gonna show you the other cupboard, but I don't feel like going through it today. So it's batteries, vitamins, and then we've got like books and a sewing kit and stuff on that bottom shelf. All right, now I am going to deep clean my fridge. It's been a little while and it needs to be done. And I wanna do it before I pick up groceries today. Um, I don't have a big grocery pickup. A lot of what I have coming is stocking stuffers and stuff, but I still want everything to be kind of clean and ready. And just like resetting my homeschool space, I'm gonna do a lot of cooking in the kitchen, right? So I really want to reset my kitchen space as well. Um, all of this really is preparation for a restful holiday. I love the holidays, but I don't love the stress. So any little things I can do to make it easier on me down the road, that's what we're doing. take just a second to shuffle through these ingredients and uh, move these shelves so they meet our needs a little bit better. share what we're eating because we eat the same things a lot. But uh, this week we are doing crunchy tacos, chicken and broccoli casserole, chicken wings with mashed potatoes. We're gonna do oven baked chicken with mashed potatoes, chili with baked potatoes. And those are our meals for the next few days. Your intentions are good. This bottom drawer is kind of a pain to get out. Um, because of that, I don't get it out and wipe under here as often. So it's pretty gross. feel better than a clean refrigerator. So this is everything I needed to wipe down on the inside. I am going to pop over and pull everything out of that drawer and wipe it down really thoroughly. And then once we get it back into the fridge, we are ready to move on. Real. 
I have run errands and picked up groceries and I'm back. So I'm gonna unload the car and then fill the fridge and pantry. And then I'm gonna share my stocking stuffers with you guys. I always pull my stocking stuffers out of my grocery budget. And then I try to give myself a little bit more in the grocery budget uh, each week during Christmas so I can pick up those little things, um, you know, without too much financial stress. Here is me with my happy bags of stocking stuffers. So we're gonna segue right into stocking stuffing. adult stockings really quickly. Um, I do a stocking for me and my husband and then I usually do a stocking for whatever other adults we might have. If we have grandparents or aunts and uncles or something like that. If we have people there on Christmas morning, I like to do a stocking for them as well so that everyone just kind of feels apart. So I like to keep these pretty light and healthy because let's face it, by Christmas we could do with a little less candy, you know.
Okay, so let's talk about present wrapping. I used to do all of it on Christmas Eve. I thought it was so fun. Me and my husband would have a glass of wine and wrap all the presents and watch a Christmas movie and we'd wear our Christmas pajamas and I would lay everything out for the next morning. But that was like doable when I had two kids who went to bed at seven, but now I have five kids and there's way more presents and I just can't wait till the last minute anymore. So there will be quite a few wrapping rounds in this video. current laundry system. It's all about sorting, not folding. So I have these three bins in the back. Uh, one of them is for my three-year-old's pants, one of them is for my one-year-old's pants, and one of them is for their shirts. You can see me tossing my daughter's stuff off to the side. I am gonna fold her stuff and go put it away. I'm currently storing her stuff in my room. Maybe I can get some B-roll of that for you guys. And then I just throw all of my boys' stuff into a shared hamper and I send it up and they take care of all of their own laundry. And then I sort through my husband's stuff and then socks and undergarments. This works the best because I get through all of the like little hard stuff that people don't want to do like matching socks the things that you wait till the end and then somebody puts it back in the hamper right I do all of those little things first and then those neat stacks if I don't get to them it's super easy for my husband to come like pick his clean clothes out of that stack and then put away two more shirts right so that kind of works the best for us we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my high Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Wrapping round two, this is your sign not to wait.
daughter's birthday is shortly after Christmas, so I have some different wrapping paper here, and as I'm going through, I'm setting some gifts aside for that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and I will catch you next time. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Thank you.